four people accused of witchcraft forced to eat human excrement in India. In September, a woman in the Indian state of, oh, frick, I practiced pronouncing this earlier. Okay, in the state of uh, Jharkhand, filed a complaint with the police alleging that she was tortured by villagers who leveled, excuse me, who accused her of witchcraft. On September 24th, the complainant and her husband were accused of witchcraft and beaten by villagers. The next day, the perpetrators returned and attacked the couple along with two female members of the couple's family. They were tied to a pole and beaten with a hot iron rod. The perpetrators then filled up a bottle with human excrement and forced the victims to consume it. After the police were informed, FIRs were registered against six people who had not been named. Two of the victims were treated at the community health center, while the other two were taken to the a hospital due to severe injuries. According to data published this past February, at least 1,000 people were murdered in Jakarn State alone on suspicion of witchcraft over the last 22 years, of which 90% were women. The police registered 4,556 cases of harassment due to witch accusations between 2015 and 2020, which amounts to two or three instances a day. I don't understand why they're doing this. How is this? Is this like some anti-witchcraft? Can you yeah, explain? Literally. Explain. Break this. Down. Break this down for us. I like mean. How I, I mean, this is superstition running rampant. They accuse these people of witchcraft, and oftentimes witchcraft accusations, very similarly to blasphemy accusations, are used to settle personal disputes. So I have seen some reports where people have said that, and I don't know if this is true, that there was an underlying dispute that was actually at hand, like a property dispute or something. And then they accused, like, this couple of witchcraft, beat the crap out of them, came back, and continued to beat two other female family members. Um, essentially, torturing them. Torturing them with the hot iron rod? Mm-hmm. According to what I've read. Okay, this is... Uh, I have no comments. Do you have any comments? Let's just look at the live chat. I don't know. I mean, I think it's important to. Oh, the dog is here. Yeah, um, we need we need puppy time right now. Seriously, this. Hopefully, is, he'll go back on the couch. Um, I don't know. I think it's important to talk about like the real consequences of superstition, and it's. I don't know something that I think in is more. Actually, no. I'm not going to make that claim. Never mind. Um, it's. It's really dangerous. And I wanted to talk about this because I actually didn't realize how bad the witch accusation problem was in India. Like that statistic shocked me that over the past like 22 years, 1,000 people have been murdered over this. That's crazy. Because what do you, I'm, can you hear me? Yes, yes. What do you get out of that? What do you get out of giving them? Ex human excrement. Like, what is like? What motivates you to do something? Like, what is the benefit to you from doing that? It's 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 public humiliation, and there are many studies about how public humiliation can actually be more physically or mentally. It can be more mentally painful to us than actual physical punishment. Okay, you were going through some data. I, I interrupted you. Finish the data. Oh, I was just saying that. Yeah, 1,000 people over the past, like, 22 years is actually, I mean, it's insane. And I was more familiar with this happening in populations of um, West Africa through the activism of Dr. Leo Igwe, who we actually interviewed on this channel about his work to help victims of witchcraft persecution. Or, uh, you know... The, what's the word that he uses for it? Like a, alleged witchcraft accusations or something. Um, because the abuse is so severe. And West Africa usually materializes in terms of um, persecuting widows and old people. And, you know what? Keep uh, talking. I'm going to go bring a puppy just to make us feel better. Keep talking. <laughs> okay. 
Um, what I really like about Leo Igwe's work in Nigeria to combat um, witchcraft accusations is he's actually created a bunch of really amazing curriculum to help teach and promote critical thinking to people because that's really the best critical step that we can give is promoting literacy and critical thinking. Oh, baby. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted by the dog. Um, oh, and now we have an even cuter dog. There Thank you, this, this was needed. This is mm -hmm. what we need today. No. Okay, Poochie looks very cute with that new collar. Yeah. I like that red collar. This, we need a rinse, we need a mental rinse today. Yeah. <laughs> it's i'm yeah I, I feel like i'm sorry for like always bringing such like heavy news but honestly like it's hard to find stuff that's not so tragic when she smells good today i think she showered recently <laughs> <laughs> she took a shower not someone cleaned her <laughs> <laughs> I like to imagine Poochie like standing on her back legs in the shower <laughs> like. <laughs> my little pooch pooch, my little poochie poochie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everyone, please remember to like this video to support Poochie, okay? If you like Poochie, if she makes you happy, if she helps uplift you, bring you therapy, please give us a like. Uh... <laughs> Sure, I should say, if Susanna doesn't bring up heavy news, how would we see Poochie? <laughs> Good point. Thank this you. is how we earn the puppy time. Okay, we have to earn it. <laughs> yes, we have to earn it. We have to. You guys go through um, important news that we need to know about the world, but then that's what the reward you get for informing yourself. Exactly. Anyways. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.